Hi, my name is Stefan Setterström and I'm the sales and marketing manager of Contech. And in this video, I'm going to address the question why rio casting is cheaper than traditional high pressure die casting. Rio casting is a semi solid process route that made its commercial breakthrough in 2018, with volume orders for the automotive industry and also the start of sales of equipment, know how to other foundries that are starting with rio casting. We are facing a massive interest from the market, especially the automotive and telecom industry. And the drivers for this interest is that normal, traditional high pressure die casting does not deliver the same properties based on better alloys with higher functionality than Rio casting can do. And this is why we are working with the major OEMs and tier ones in this rollout of Rio casting on a global scale. But for, first of all, let's talk about process cost. When you normally plan for a high pressure die casting part, you normally calculate with, let's say, 16 to 1800 ton. In rear casting, you will end up somewhere 900, 1000 tons. And the reason for this is that in a semi solid melt, pressure distribution from the biscuit to the top of the part is distributed very efficiently, giving you time to fill the tool to after feed. Now there is a cost for rio casting, but it's smaller than the machine cost delta. Meaning, you're using a smaller machine with a less hourly rate and with the investment you will end up in the same process cost per hour or a little bit cheaper. Secondly, the cycle time is the same or faster, depending on that the smaller machine has a quicker movement in the process cycle and thus you will cast more castings per hour. Now, rear casting is very flexible and we have designed this process so you can easily switch between high pressure die casting and rear casting. The meaning of this is that you never ever tie up a big investment in a high pressure die casting machine that will create a massive investment cost. So there is no problem on making this investment even that you start with a low amount of production in, in semi-solid. And then tool wear. With a melt that's approximately 100 degrees Celsius cooler, the tool wear is much lesser. So we normally guarantee 60% higher output before the tool is worn out, giving something that 0.2, 0.6 euros per part in a saving. This is also to be included with all the tool management cost, verification cost, and every other cost that's around the tool. So when it comes to process cost, there is simply no real good reason why real casting should be more expensive than high pressure die casting. And as I said, normally you get a little bit cheaper. So let's talk about total cost. One example, impregnation. Often you hear that impregnation is 0.5 euros per part or something similar. But when you start to take into account sorting, logistics, production deviations, uh, production hours going wasted, Normally the factor is three to five times higher. Uh, so if you are a producer of leak-free castings, call us. Now impregnation is one example. There are many more to be addressed as quality cost drivers, porosity problems, tool wears, etc. Normally we cannot solve everything in the world with the real casting, but let's say 50, 60, 70 percent at least. So let's give it a try. Now there is much more to tell and describe, so please don't hesitate to Check us out on www.comtech.se.